Shalom Chavarim, this is Richard Solomon, and this is going to be a demonstration of how to use the free app, an Apple app called WeMap. WeMap is the app that you see on the screen in the upper left-hand corner. I'm going to click on WeMap right now to open it. And the purpose of this demonstration is to show how WeMap can be used for Judaic instruction. So the, what one might do, for example, is ask one students is uh, for uh, identifying key topics in Judaic studies. Now I'm going to click on this and you see under notes it says record your subtopics around each topic which is an oval. Okay, so let's uh, continue with this. Let's say we want to, uh, you can either write uh, topics underneath the notes, but we won't, uh, we won't do that. What we'll do is we'll just add topics around the Hagim. So let's say we want a topic around the Hagim. Let's say we want to write uh, Rosh Hashanah. Okay, so let's write Rosh, right, then space, and let's write Hashanah. And we could change the color if we want to, uh, say, green. Okay, and we could put notes in here, like, for example, you might want to indicate why you like Rosh Hashanah and why that's one of your favorite topics. And sure enough, you see Rosh Hashanah is next to the Hagim. If you wanted to bring it closer, just move it, move it closer, okay? And uh, if you want to erase it, you just click on it here and you hit the delete. But we're not going to do that. So what we have here are a variety of different topics, and I'll move them around. We have the Hagim, right? We have uh, Tefillah, we have Hebrew, and we have Jewish history. Again, students and colleagues can add to the uh, configuration. We have the Tanakh, and we also have Israel, and students can create their own topics or their own subtopics related to what they want to study in the class. Now, when you want to share the information, you click on the bottom of the screen where it says share. Okay, let's do that one more time. And you could share through email, and you can copy things and print things. You could open it in iBooks or open and share anytime. So there are a lot of different uh, ways that, uh, that you can share. You could use an AirDrop. And I'll just close this right now. So what we have is a demonstration of how you might use WeMap as a web making or idea generation uh, tool to um, enhance Judaic instruction or be, be used for staff development. And obviously you could uh, share that with your students and they can add to that uh, as well. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I wish you well.